This video is going to cover the hotbox inside of Maya, and it's a really simple concept. This is a way of accessing, in a unique way, all of the menus inside of Maya without taking your focus off of whatever it is you're working on in your scene. So in this case, the way we access the hotbox is by holding down the spacebar. By default, it starts up and it looks like this, which is pretty daunting. It shows all of the menus at once, and it is a little bit difficult in, in my opinion to select or find the thing that you're working on. So I like to go to the hotbox controls, left mouse button click on top of the hotbox controls button and parse those out and show only the specific menus that pertain to whatever operation it is or whatever function it is that I happen to be doing inside of Maya. So what this does or the organization of the hotbox rather is set up kind of like this. So we get different menus and they're organized in a line. So there's a first line, second line, third line, and the fourth line. And what this corresponds to in terms of the menus in your scene is the first menu is just a persistent set of menus that mimic the file uh, sort of operational type things that persist no matter what you're doing inside of Maya. Below that is a context sensitive menu that changes depending on the menu or excuse me, the panel that you're working on. So in this case you can see my view panel uh, or my view menu all the way over to panels corresponds to the panel, in this case the perspective window that I'm working in from view over way, all the way over to panels. If I change this view to be the graph editor you can see that my menu changes on the second line from edit over to panels now becomes the same as in the graph editor and this is just another way of accessing those tools. If we go back to the perspective view, uh, you may have noticed al already that if I click on that middle view, this is just a handy way of switching between my different cameras inside my scene. I also have a list of recent commands. I can go to the hotbox controls and pretty much dictate what gets shown, uh, as I mentioned before. And then this lower menu pertains to the menus that can be found to the right of assets and to the left of muscle. And this just focuses on uh, those menu sets that we looked at in the last video and if we bring up the status bar you can see that animation polygons these are all the, def the defaults surfaces dynamics rendering and in dynamics these will change those menus to the right of assets and to the left of muscle and that corresponds to this list of menus that is at the bottom of the hotbox so at any given time we can switch between animation uh, rendering, dynamics, and so forth. And if we don't want to have the status line open, we can do that through the hotbox controls. We can go to polygons, we can go to surfaces, and that just makes it really easy to swap back and forth the focused sets of tools that you happen to be working on. So if I'm modeling, I can leave my polygon menus or my surfaces menus up all the time and know where those are going to be without having to go to the top of the screen. So that's a look at the hotbox inside of Maya. It's a great way of accessing all of your menus without taking your eye off whatever it is you happen to be working on.